And we're back, Dark and Ran to Mass Effect 3. Hey. Just landed on Mars, and yeah, that's a pretty big fucking storm. Yeah. yeah I hate desert so planets. Is. But first, level up points. <coughs> Fortification, up. frag grenade, incendiary, carnage, arms master. I think I know what his class is. <laughs> uh, do I want Henry sharing ammo, or do I just not care at this point? I don't care. Only in select cases do I actually give a flying fuck. Fair enough. Meanwhile, Ash has Inferno Grenade, Disruptor Ammo, Conk Shot, Marksman, and Alliance Officer. She's more of a damage dealer. Makes sense. I think. What's funny is I was actually reading some in the Codex a bit uh, a while ago. And apparently, the way fortif the, the thing that's talked about with fortification and uh, the focal current apparently basically makes it to where there's a field around the armor that basically slows and stops metals around it. So, and it works both ways. So as long as he has a up, it's a uh, it in lore would slow him down. Mm. But it's not actually going to slow him down. He is solid muscle, as you might have noticed earlier. Yep. No, I'm gonna level up incinerate. Radius or nah. I'm just gonna burn one motherfucker at a time. He wasn't quite a JoJo character, but he was clearly getting there. Damn, that's a huge storm. Looks a lot bigger in person. Come on, Lieutenant, it's not that bad. Doesn't mean it can't kill us. I'm more worried about the war back on Earth. Or the fact that nobody here is reporting in. Fair enough. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Oh, that's probably not good. What's that? Oh, okay. Sergeant Reeves. Doesn't look like you put up a fight. Something's not right here. Keep a low profile till we know what's going on. Roger that. That doesn't sound good either. What do we have here? I wouldn't call this putting up a fight. Oh. I heard someone that sounded like. And we know that logo, don't we? Is that Cerberus? What do you think? Fucking Cerberus. Flanked. Shit. I didn't think I was close enough to trigger the next round. Holy shit. They're executing them. You know what? <laughs> I love how they immediately ignore the turret. Mm. Also, quality of life improvements that I like about this game. The fact that sprinting does not make you basically run in a straight line no matter what. Yeah, that's really important. Yeah, I can actually turn. Oh, oh hello there. Come motherfucker. No. Those guys were Cerberus, weren't they? Sure looked like it. What Cerberus doing here on Mars? Good question. You How do you think they're doing? I'm not with us anymore, Ash. If that's what you're asking. It wasn't, but you have to admit it's a bit convenient. Okay, I'm losing man. Probably try to get something against the Reapers on his own terms. Kind of suggests they had help from the inside. 
Seems likely. You need a lot more men and firepower to take this place otherwise. Mm -hmm. I need a straight answer, Shepard. About what? Do you know anything about this? What is Cerberus doing here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You worked for them. How am I supposed to believe you've cut all ties? Why wouldn't we cut all ties? Take down the collectors. That's it. They rebuilt you from scratch. They gave your ship, resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. I just... I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Ash. They're supposed to take their helmets off here, but apparently a mod maker decided it made more sense to keep them on. Which it probably kind of does. Since it's, you know, kind of a hostile area still. Trust me. Yeah, I guess. I do. It's just that. <laughs> Hence the jank sounding voice in the helmet. Suddenly not having to speak to the speaker. Yeah. Shoot worth shit. Mm -hmm. Also, you never want to have a box after an eye drop. That's about as bad as saying yes, but actually no. <laughs> Good old Yara. Shadow broker probably had a great deal with this, huh? Yeah. I meant to come see you, but I was under house arrest. Which I could do to help you anyway. I suppose you're right. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers... Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the archives. Yep. And Fucking the race starts sectors. now. We've got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the shuttle. If Cerberus beats us to the archives, I need you covering the exits. But... but... Now, Lieutenant.
Blue bombs. Citrus Blue Bars through the armor. <laughs> All right, Liara. She, I will make sure she has her ammo power set for share. Cause it's warp Water ammo. Power. That's not CS1. More, uh, hurts that guys already lifted by biotics for a damage bonus. Weakens the armor of grounded targets. Nice. Yeah, it is quite nice. Which is what I need to do is use it and then tell Ash to use hers again because it overrides. Now, they have high ground and cover. No, they don't. <laughs> oh, out of class. Nice. <laughs> Lamar, he just ran right into that. Uh, but yeah, these are so fun in this game. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping, you know, they, they they play smart with, like, the next game that they're making. And add, like, you know, more, uh, one of the few good things, I was, good things I'll say about Andromeda is how fluid it played. Yeah, I definitely do want us to play Andromeda if only so we can, you know. Complete it all. Yeah, that and I want to actually be more informed about all of yeah. them. But like the next game. <coughs> like you know, I have mean, things like better multiplayer, like you know, go up. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, thinking about it, the losing mind just might actually try going for that. Find a way to control them. Or just be a fucking dumbass and... Control them, to... from within. Yeah, he's a... Uh... Hey there. Oh boy, stealth mechanics! Omni blade to the face. My heavy melee is better than yours. I did not mean to jump that. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> oh, I see your actual health bar now has beeps. Yes, yeah, segments. Individual segments will heal, but not the whole bar. You gotta use Medi Gel to heal the rest of it. Yeah, I can say that. And you know, I don't have barrier anymore, so I have to be a bit more careful. Yep. The overpowered bullshit that is, uh, barrier. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that. Gotta collect more armor pieces. Was that because it's a different class, or did barrier just not make it to 3 at all because it's just way too overpowered? I don't remember. I think barrier is... Barrier was axed, and instead of having, like, regular shields, biotics just have... Barrier, which replaces their shields. From Cameron Harrison to Exogeny. We know that name, don't, don't we? Yeah, wasn't that the bad one? Yeah, the one that got fucking shit up in the first game. <laughs> Miss Mika, <Yeah. laughs> thank you for your kind offer of new and cutting edge technology. As with every other offer you've made, we're going to have to decline. Our propriety right experts have gone over your contracts, again, and found them lacking, again. And in short, we're not interested. Please don't contact us anymore with your generous offers. <laughs> Good to see that they're still fucking shit up two years later. 
that or the person that contacted them was even worse. Seriously. Hey, never. Storm's getting close. What the hell? Looks like the Alliance is still putting up a fight. That tram heads to the archives. Once Cerberus is across, they're at the final security checkpoint. And that's where. Uh, Commander, you read me? Barely. Storm's causing interference. I didn't read that. James, repeat. Damn it. That storm's going to be in here very soon. Yeah, I think it's already here. Good point. This airlock shouldn't be open. Doesn't look like it was forced. No, you have to override security protocols. Airlock open. That's not good. Indeed. You could say. Mm -hmm. Those people were definitely not ready for it. Someone vented the air from this room while they were still here. Looks like they died trying to claw their way out. This is brutal, even by server standards. From Sh from Sho Den to Cameron Harrison. Cam, who the hell is that woman messing in my files? Get her out of here! I won't have my system messed up by someone to be expert who will be gone next week. Damn strangers who think they know it all, but don't care about what we're really trying to achieve here. Dr. Ava, seriously, don't you remember what happened last time? Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, she has been messing around with... Are you sure about that? You shoot the windows. <laughs> uh, they, their armor sealed. It does stagger them, though. Yeah. I mean, it's still wind just suddenly rushing. Yeah, out it's of still the a, it's still an explosive decompression. Also good to know that when I miss hit um, and use overload, it can still uh, stun them. Oh. Hmm, I didn't kill that one. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it will be. Probably, probably some alliance guys who might have actually survived for more than three seconds. Yeah. We need to pressurize the room first. One of them might have had a helmet. access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Hey, looks like there's a recording of what happened here. <laughs> yes, because we're totally not in a hurry or anything. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as I don't think a helmet would have helped there. Yeah. I guess we know how Cerberus got in. I he was the better to have one of them to found, so he is probably for complete in there. Yeah. Stopping the Reavers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Come on, Liara. I know. I shouldn't. It's like, I'd rather die with my boots on. I don't know how you do it. Like, either we succeed, even in the worst situation, or we die in glory. When there's so much at stake, I just think about what I'd lose if I fail. That's a terrible burden. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. Thanks. I want to believe you. Okay, I want to believe you, it's also another way of saying I don't. Just... don't, okay? It's not my face is tired, and, it, and that's good enough. Yeah... I 
I don't think Echo Squad's gonna be reporting in anytime soon. Well, at least they someone might probably put up a fight. For that beat. SMG, Ultralight Materials. That's a weapon modding bench. Hmm. Can't. I can change my weapons out and install mods on weapons I have mods Good. for. You see them from he every here and there. Nice. <clears throat> from Amelia Hatterson to Mike O'Sullivan. <clears throat> hey, stupid head. I want to ask how you're doing, since I hear you guys are propagating germs in the shape of a cold down there in storage. Look, I know you Prothean doodads are fascinating and all, but you guys have to get have to stop burning the midnight oil and keep ready your sleeping hours. Honestly. Anyway, I was forwarding your latest findings to HQ on Earth, and someone is depressurizing the room, warned secure. You know, typing is usually not the fastest way to get something out. Yeah, I mean, maybe she was using speech to text. Given that the text just suddenly cut off <laughs> while still being able to send, you know. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's sent, I think it's still in the process of being written. Uh, yeah, maybe. Hmm, cluster bombs or singularity? What do you think? Singularity. It's way too fun. Where the hell was this incinerate going? Ah, yes, this is where we start seeing the riot shield guys. But can't I use biotics? Uh, some biotics, yes. Okay, can't I block being lifted into the air? If it doesn't hit their body, then yes. Huh. Doesn't stop you from shooting them in the mail slot, though. What, then? No worry, I'll be getting at you. That we're just stepping on you. Know? Oh, there's uh, quite a few of them. That's a Centurion, so that's a captain. He's got shields, he's a little tougher. Why don't I have warp ammo anymore? Okay, that went a little too far back. It even blocks heavy melee. So I think. That's actually pretty useful, it seems. I mean, it's something else for them to shoot at. Exactly. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Let me fix that. <laughs> I think we're making them nervous. Maybe. They just activated the decontamination protocols. With the staff still inside. Nasty. Uh... Ugh, bad way to die. What did they find? More than I could describe in a short conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Prothean data troves that have never been studied. Hmm. Personal note, S. Esperanza. 
We haven't been able to decipher much, if any, of the language yet, but the visual documentation gives us some idea as to what they were uh, do studying, namely, us. They seem particularly interested in early humanity's evolutionary process. Judging by the way they organized their files and highlighted specific occasions, it seems a bit fantastic to write this, but everything indicates that they seem to be trying to chart the curve of humanity's intellectual progression. Pretty much, yeah. Wait, so the Protians were still alive while we were on Earth? Uh, when we were cavemen. <coughs> I, ge I guess Ash is just immune to decontamination. Yeah, I mean, I guess Thermor's just that good that scientists didn't really have armor, I think. Still kinda silly. Pretty much. Up. Off the wall, please. That's the tram line. It takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just it's through here. Uh, Also, unlimited sprint! Yay! Shotgun! Katana! It's a shitty shotgun, but it's a shotgun nonetheless. Look out. Well, yeah, it shouldn't be a good shotgun. It's supposed to be a sword. It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around it. Stay out of its sight. I'll move up first. a big fucking gun. Oh, Alright, we're good. Back to Dave. Added, you know, jumping out of cover and uh, slamming into cover but without pushing a button is nice. Yep. And, you know, dodge roll. Dodge roll, rotate. That's not rotate. <coughs> That's also not rotate. <laughs> Listen, I'm not the brightest knife in the crayon box. It's Hello, looking at this. Hold the station at all costs. Well, unfortunately for you guys, y'all aren't going to be holding the station. No, you can't stop us. Ugh, nasty. Bye, Ham. Grab ammo. Grab loot. Sniper rifle concentration module. It is a beautiful thing that I'll introduce you to later. Oh my. Research notes. Jay Tasman. <coughs> the last location seems to have run dry, but judging from the communication system layout and the backup power supplies equipped by the first protein research base we discovered, we think a secondary base may be located deeper underground. We're going to need permission from the powers that be to excavate further. But considering the recent renewal and enthusiasm for the work we're doing here, I don't think clearance will be an issue. Mm, clearance, no. Actually, getting there before it's too late. Um, yeah. Different story. Set up a perimeter. No one else comes across. Yeah, about that. Like they've made it to the archives, and it looks like they won't be sitting a tram anytime soon. Can you override it? The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not completely. What if we could find a short-range transmitter, helmet to helmet? And? And then we convince them that we're with them, and the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Lieutenant Commander has become very capable. Agreed. Commander, I found something. 
used to just be a gunnery sergeant. Right. I used to think she was just a medic. <laughs> Stop being an asshole. You're the one who you're the one who picked her over Kaden. I'm the same person I always was. Time won't change that. It's not like I knew. I understand. <laughs> Thanks. For understanding. You bet. Look for Duran's playthrough where he actually picks Kaden instead. <laughs> you said that, but that would require me to install it again. We never know what we'll Delta get in the future. Anybody there? Yeah, maybe we're they were still requiring origin. Not big on following orders, are they? They'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position. Plank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Elsie. Okay, and before I waste time, key bindings. What's fucking Order Rally C, <laughs> order Q and Y. Don't okay. think about it. You think by now you'd be able to have more than two squad mates? I think it's just part of the design. I guess they would have need to redone to redo the interface entirely there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Liara, that's not what I meant. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> I think they caught on, don't you? Maybe. So you seem to be getting level pretty fast in this one. I forget how experience is handled in this one. Yeah, I mean, we weren't even in combat or anything. In the but first game, it's in the first game, it's it's walk into a room, get experience. Kill an enemy, get experience. Look at something funny, get experience. Second game it was just get a level after every mission or something. Yeah, it was get XP from missions. Oh, wow, okay. And here it seems to be kind of weird. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. You might have just seen like quest progression or something. Probably. It might just be like the day because they have just arrived or something. Keep him away from the tram! Well done, gentlemen. Well done. You are um, totally succeeded there or something. I'm gonna save because I'm gonna do something reckless in a minute. Oh no. Pissed off is about right. It's almost like they had time to prepare. It's fine, you jump across. Woohoo! Let my shield recharge. 
You're not getting across, he says as I jump across. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Other side. Get off, Alliance Scum. Mm -hmm. Nope. That's about time to need turret, though. Yeah, but turret had my back. Good turret. So, bad idea. Didn't go as badly as I thought it would. Yeah. But about as well. But about as well as any of my bad ideas. So you want to it? So well enough to succeed, bad enough to nearly kill me. Exactly. <coughs> what even is a good idea anyway? Well, there are questions, really. Are you really asking? Well, what are you just giving? That's two answers, or something like that. Fucking sense. Listen, I didn't follow any of that statement, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I just spawned a drone behind him. That's actually funny. Yeah, drone seems pretty fun to use. I mean, it's not Tali's drone. Good and sure we'll get that in it. Look at that just one trooper just getting trolled by that drone. <laughs> oh, I just found. That's okay. Now we can shoot at them. I mean, you could be for as well, but, you know, I know that No, because there was glass in the way. Uh, oh, we're still alive? Next. Oh, we too much? hurts. Yeah, don't get killed. I've heard it's hard for you. You would have heard correct. Shotgun Shredder mod. Oh my. An M15 Vindicator. It's the first rifle. Okay. Um. Just testing uh, You were just... okay. Definitely not my cup of tea, but... oh well. Hello, asshole. Shepherd. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard. And I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool. An agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, 
you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the rebels in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey, step away from the console. Now! She's terrible too. Yeah. Sitting game more time. I mean, she's taking damage, so. Oh now she is. Ours didn't seem to do shit against her. Yeah, she's really fast. Watch out. And she's over. Over there. There's no way to actually I've stripped her down to her health before and it's almost gotten her. Or should just game right back there by Choo choo. Well, that's one way to stop it. Well, he doesn't have blue bars anymore. <laughs> it's not like he wa he was willing to leave. We kind of ordered him to leave. Exactly. <laughs> he doesn't have blue bars anymore. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, the, sh the shuttle might have seen a better days. Normandy's on route. They'll be here soon. Stellar driving there. We need the data. Shepard, you could have shot earlier. Ash was in the way. Uh, and yeah. yes. <laughs> Grab that thing. Bring it with us. Shepard, we got Reaper signatures in orbit. Ash. Ashley. Hey, come on, if she died that quickly, she wouldn't be in our thing. So I guess she did leave for an entire game so she, so she might have gotten soft. I mean, and to be that fair, thing. that thing just survived, survived a shuttle crash. 
that basically destroyed them, completely destroyed the shuttle. It's clearly made of some sterner stuff. And it just smashed her against the wreckage. Ar the armor's good, but if you're bounced around inside a box enough, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, well, I don't think it's enough to kill her. Not right away. Ashley needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Hitch. See what you would need to make it, I guess. She might be an asshole, but I don't completely hate her. Catch me. What a fun day this has been, right? Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Lieutenant Commander Williams was critically wounded. We're taking her to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. You gotta wonder where he's run off to. To still be alive. Yeah, I don't trust that. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. I'm betting his reapers. The council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Lieutenant Commander Williams? I've done what I can for her. She needs proper medical attention soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the reapers. Yeah. You probably wouldn't believe me if I said he's he's going to stay one of the most trustworthy people in the entire game. If we can build it. <laughs> I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our options? You know we can't win this conventionally. Commander? The course of being way too... Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm going to check on Ashley and James. There comes at least a many games you can see some things coming. <laughs> I'm sure the council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. <laughs> see, there comes a point where you become so genre savvy, you end up becoming wrong genre savvy. That's all. Seriously though, Hackett is completely trustworthy. I'm just genuinely curious where the hell he ran off to. Where was he when it started? He couldn't. He couldn't yeah, have been. I have a question. He, like, wasn't he, he supposed to be like leading the fleet or he, something? He might not have been on Earth. How many times have we come through here? And our visits are never pleasant. Yeah. Especially when the council is involved. Ugh, don't get me started on them. I hate politicians. I do. You? Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking her? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the council. 
Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Who was they? The CSEC captain. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So... You're here to bring us to the Council. I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. I'll try the. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. You could see you around, Shepard. You could tell he does not no like doubt. it. Yeah. <laughs> And now Sometimes. we're getting our alliance funding. Alliance funding. Yeah. So instead of Cerberus funding, it's alliance funding now. Makes sense. I think we can do our stuff here on the Citadel, and now we'll finish this one up. Yeah. Sounds good. Technically, I'm not supposed to have access to this, or this, or this yet, but mods don't give a flying fuck. Mine or this. But we're not going to visit those. Yeah, sounds about right. First thing is checking on Ashley. Not just Ash, but yeah. Well, yeah, there's probably like two million side quests as well. Medijoke capacity. <laughs> we can get her a little something. Now, what do you think w would be best for her? Flowers and candies, of course. Of course. Uh, poetry, a different kind of poet, an Elcor poet, free verse recluse, uh, Asari poetry, collection of stuff from a 19th century po poet, or a volume of poems from Alfred Tennyson, whoever that is. Can you buy all of them? No, you can only buy one. I think flowers are neutral enough. Wrong. You probably don't remember it, but do, uh, talking to her in the first game, she's very fond of Alfred Tennyson. I said neutral. Okay. See, yeah. but we're not. Th this, this, this. It both is and isn't required. Uh, hmm. what's the word I'm looking for? If you're going to romance, you definitely need it. But if you want to build, you know, a good relationship back with her, you, you definitely need it. Okay, so and we still... and we do want to build a relationship, with, good relationship with our squad mates. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And hey, we know both of these. Oh. Yes, Doctor Chakwas, the ship's doctor. Oh yeah. And Doctor Michelle, she's the doctor that um Garrus nearly shot in the head. You know, in the first game. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. Well, I guess that, is the the synthetic that gives some kind of clue about where Hackett is. <laughs> Very well, all things considered. What have been doing at least? I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. 
So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Now, we can bring her back on board, or we can tell her to stay put. <clears throat> if we tell her to stay put, we can go bring Dr. Michelle aboard. But the o there's not really any real difference. So it's a matter of, do you want to keep her for the final stretch, or do you want to try someone different? Okay, so it doesn't have any actual relevance to the... Just some dialogue, and I think yes. like maybe two or three points in the war assets, which is negligible. Let's bring her in. You're I like Jaguars. <laughs> not some lad. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah if, you tell her when you on <laughs> yeah, if you tell her to stay put, uh, before she walks away, she says, Oh, and remember to remind Joker to take his medication. He could be so forgetful. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Yeah, long way from you to get in shot in the head. Now I'm a physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? Yeah, what's really funny? I think I might have mentioned it at some point before. But if you bring her aboard when you're doing the mission that uh, you first first have Tally, Tally on, and bring Garrus along, he makes an offhand comic that Dr. Michelle had given him some dextroamino ch chocolates, which Turians and Quarians can eat. And she goes, Dr. Michelle got you Turian chocolate. Well, yes. Why? Oh, no reason. <laughs> the same Turian that nearly shot her in the head. <laughs> oh. How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital in the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Yeah. Yeah. War is never pretty. Mm-hmm. Stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freeman. Narrow splint still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. So, uh, yeah, speaking of which, I wonder if we get to see the Sordos. Morton? Uh, yeah, yeah. You're pretty banged up there, Williams. I'd be worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. Hey, my rep. That's very important. Basically, that rep pop up we keep getting takes the place of the um, Paragon or Renegade requirement for different things. 
And we get that from uh, both whatever gives us Paragon and Renegade and other stuff. Hmm. Like every now and then we'll come across random disputes like, like I can't give you a refund for that. Yes, that, that argument's still ongoing. <coughs> and you can finally settle it. Uh, and that gives you reputation. So there's still day after this They're song. still arguing. Wait, is that I'm a... making a lady it sings. That is. That's a female Turian. Huh. You get to you Notice the crest extends... Oh, uh, how far the crest goes is a give dead giveaway. Yeah, the legs are a bit different, too. Yeah. There's female Turians in one of the DLC, like, explicitly named female Turians, so I remember. And there's also one that's a squad mate in Andromeda. Hmm. Hilariously, she's basically the, the stand-in for Garrus in that game. <laughs> because of course it would be a Turian. Huh? Would she romance her? I think so, actually. Cool. Commander, Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Counselor Udina. That's not what we left him. We've got our own problems, Counselor. Well... Earth is not in this alone. But you know. Yeah. This is Counselor Skanda. This is the brunt of the attack. Or By your no, probably. our Counselor is Anderson. Yeah. Exactly. He's it's probably... <laughs> the reports are accurate. Wow, you're attack. an optimist. By the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hag. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggests it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always That's agreed with the from the he's right about this. <laughs> we need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, keep me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. So... What they're saying is, we just need to secure their borders. <laughs> bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may I have mean, a spot but them. humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander. I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. 
It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? Yeah. Our latest the wrong. Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. Well, good, I'm we'll really. talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Okay. Lots of stuff to do. Lots of stuff popping up. And since we got Spectre status now, we may as well other uh, pop into the Spectre office. Shopping. Mm, yeah, sort of. That's a, fire, that's a firing range down there. Oh my. Yeah, you can just test weapons out. Good. Spectre terminal. Stuff we can get that's just for, you know, Spectres. Mm -hmm. Corian Fleet Intel. Corian Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Bleh, Pilgrim. Jin Valon Nanima. On the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet. Jin Valon purchased tech, including high end weapon mounts and kinetic barrier emitters, from several ship service centers. On Ilium, another Corian Pilgrim unidentified was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The Pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Data suggests if Quarian Fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading its ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a reaction to Reaper invasion, but no formal offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Quarians may be instead be preparing for conflict with Geth. Not surprising. More info. Spectre Rix, a gift. Spectre Avitus Rix. Rix. Inspector Shepard, we've never met, but I recently learned that you've resurfaced from a long period undercover. Saren Artarius was my mentor, like many of the Turians in Special Tactics and Recon. His betrayal hit, hit us ha especially hard. It said you collect models and I wanted to give you a small token to show there were no hard feelings. I left a gift for you at the Spectre HQ on the Citadel. It's a model of the ship designed by a group of colonists I'm planning to join called the Andromeda Initiative. If you look at its <laughs> fine workings, you might find it very enlightening. Yeah. That's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> Deluvian wild... Wildlands on Tatris. We've collected vids broadcast by the aggressors which show their victory over the Turians on Tatris and give us a glimpse of the condition of the colony. Comm systems are falling silent and a flood of extranet traffic is delaying the capture of further intelligence. The cities of Aritziana and Medra have surrendered while Spadar continues to resist and controls the only surviving spaceport. It's likely the surrender of the Turian cities as a consequence of the recent civil war in the hierarchy. The fight has been knocked out of them, and they don't have the stomach to stand against such an overwhelming foe. <clears throat> Early intel reveals that Uvalum Septimax, the war minister of Tatris, is urging citizens to lay down their arms and accept their new overlords. The longer Septimax remains in control of the Turian broadcast, Tatrian broadcast, the more likely other colonies will surrender to enemy propaganda. This leaves us no option but to remove the traitor before he encourages more soldiers to lay down arms. To prevent panic gripping the populace, we've taken steps to censor information uploaded to the action about these events, but it's a losing battle. It does have the war, right? Yeah, indoctrinated! Status on homeworlds. <laughs> Keiji, the, uh, the Hanar planet. Planetary defense hmm. system is operational, and as of yet, there's been no enemy ships in the Olin Protectorate. Disturbing reports of a new cult have been detected in amb ambassadorial databanks. Details are scarce. Karshan, the Batarian homeworld. <laughs> yeah. Communications from spy drones have now fallen silent. Last data packets sent by our spies suggest the hegemony has turned in on itself. Civil war has erupted, and the use of illegal megaton warheads was recorded. At least one faction appears to have allied with the enemy. Earth. 
communication and soul systems are dead. The enemy devastated the human fleet stationed in orbit. Systems Alliance 5th Fleet regrouping. Palavan. Four Turian fleets sent from Palavan to Tatris were destroyed. The enemy immediately attacked Palavan. The Turians are attempting to stall their advance at Manet. Sarkesh. The Salarian homeworld. <clears throat> Dalatras Nara and her bloodline is threatening rebellion if Salarian ships defend non-Salarian space. They wield considerable political weight in the Salarian Union. Dalatras Linron refuses to enact martial law despite threats by Nara. So, they're playing politics. Uh. Thessia, the, the Asaris. The high mm -hmm. priestesses of the Athom Athomna Politia have convened to discuss how the Asari should respond to the invasion. They have appealed for calm while they begin their deliberations. And meanwhile, the Asari, being the longest-lived species, have to take their time. And all others are reporting no activity so far. Uh. Meanwhile, uh, destruction of orbital satellites around Turves. Diplomatic Channel suggests that the Reloi, which are mentioned in background, are withdrawing from Citadel, Citadel to evade the war. Basically, it's a race of avians that were just reaching the space age as the Reapers came a-knocking. So they, so they decided to try and uh, make themselves well, seem primitive. Uh, yeah. I mean, it might work. Now what do we got here? Stuff we can't afford. Hey, remember the Widow's sniper rifle? The big one? Oh my. But with a bigger magazine. <laughs> the Wraith, which is a quick draw shotgun, basically. It's kind of like the Eviscerator. A Paladin, okay. which is a hand cannon. What's the difference between a Spectre Widow? It's increasing number of shots. So, it's heavy, but it's got more shots. Spectre Paladin, it's black. Hmm. It so a smaller, <laughs> it's got a smaller clip, but more, but more powerful shots. Spectre nice. Harrier. Hmm, interesting. And Garmer, heavy assault armor. Ugh. It's not look too bad. Its buffs are alright, but I'm gonna hold on to my money. Yeah, probably for the rest. You do seem to be rather comparatively short compared to the old game. And it's just a camera perspective. Hmm? It's just a camera's perspective. No, I meant short on money. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you don't run as fast, but at least you can keep running. Yeah. Hey, there's James. Like, at least you can actually run. <laughs> hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Hope it don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth is some kind of nightmare. Yeah. That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But, you were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, it looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm going to head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. I had the impression he was Hispanic. Thanks for confirming it. Yep. Uh, Lieutenant, ja uh, Lieutenant James Vega. And, yeah, just Bailey, Udina, Dr. Michelle Nash are in the hospital. Yeah, like, it doesn't even pull up any um, of the other areas. So there's nothing of interest mm. there now. I could probably go and like interact with the shops, but no money. 
Yeah, we need to fix that at some point. But first, there's one last person to talk to before we can call it done here. Oh my. No, no, she's different. Oh, okay. Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? What do you think? Well, we can always kick her out if she pulls something... There's up. literally no there's literally no loss in bringing her aboard, so yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot longer. Aye, aye, Commander. Well, at least she knows how to salute. At least she has good posture. That's the important part. Yeah, that too. If your salute looks like ass, it's just an insult. Yeah, I mean, that is what, what I meant by how to salute. <laughs> yeah, but in case you were wondering, Kalish Mission Al Jalani does show up later. And no, we still can't punch her. Eh, not surprising. Hey, ready uh, for something trippy? That's trippy, alright. Hey, is that all armor? It's the armor we were literally just wearing. Oh. Really? Oh, I thought our shoulder pads were different. We are slow. I literally hate this. This is easily the worst part of the game. So, uh, got any good campfire stories? So how about see. mods? What kind of mods do you have, Ali? And why do you not have a mod that's to skip or change this? Uh... One of the mods is editing them, I think. I forget which one it is. And I forget how it does. But there are mods that, like, skip them. But, like I said, something would conflict, and I didn't want to deal with conflicts. I guess. This doesn't show up too often. Just three times in the entire game. I guess we'll manage. So, what most do you have? Uh, well, it, well, there's Expanded Galaxy, which people will tell you basically revamps the entire game. And expands upon a lot of content. A lot of those armor sets I could wear were from it. Good. Project Variety, which adds variety. Also a better tally mod. Oh my. And it was all just a dream. A bad dream, but a dream. You think that's usually called a nightmare. They are. They help you. I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. 
Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us hmm. aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. But wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how um, attractive your voice was. <laughs> Shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed with the upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. This is just showing you which room is which. So are you sure? This is the only room you haven't seen before. Command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. And it's kind of not relevant. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. <laughs> you don't and say. There you are. Still the same ship as before. It just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. Oh, let's go have so, a chat. So, yeah. I guess he's just going to have your main contact. Yeah, pretty much. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it yeah, happen, Commander. There really is so much of a chase there. expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Yeah. Major defeat, Earth, Arcturus, Tatris. Ouch. Oh, shit. And a bunch of other mm. stuff. I would be amused if you had the option of actually just piloting the... Uh, the Normandy and fighting through as many fucking Reapers you, as you can before leaving. Mm. No, the Normandy does not have the firepower for that. Yeah, it would be amused if there was, like, just, nah, just go with objective, survive. <laughs> that is where we can look at the war assets. For instance, in some special forces. Uh, that's actually where, um, any uh, multiplayer characters I max out and promote to the war map 
would be listed under. Oh. And some of the stuff that uh we've done before done before are starting to show their effects. Update. This fleet lost a third of its vessels protecting the council during the Battle of the Citadel two years ago. Unfortunately, the Alliance did not have time to rebuild its fleet and, pre and its previous strength before the Reapers invaded. Pretty much every fleet's like that. Because uh, several fleets were gathered up for that. And she's only worth one uh, war asset. But stuff we can get from her is worth a bit more. Makes sense. Hey, I remember this asshole. He's the asshole who, when we went back to the Citadel in the first game, was pissed off that there were aliens on the Normandy. Fuck him. Yeah, well, he's, uh... He's worth 55 points, which is a good bit. Uh, yes. It's it's worth more than the Normandy itself is. <coughs> At least for now. Crucible, giving away the name of the project. And hey, remember all those resources we, we uncovered? You know, from the scanning that we never used? It's like, all of, those, all of those not actually that many resources we uncovered. Hey, I mean, we we farmed several planets with a single probe. That's all that matters. Minor leaders. Industrial and economic support. Random stuff. Yeah. This is the war room. Gotta have it. This is the war room! This used to be Morden's lab. Oh, yeah. And the rest of the ship you should be pretty familiar with. Granted, uh... Side quests! Granted, the uh, armory's kind of not here anymore. That's on the uh, hangar deck. We but yeah, that. the rest of it's yeah, but the rest of it's pretty much the same ship we remember. Yay! Yeah, Tally will be down here by Engineer Adams. He's back, and the shuttle Yay. bay is where we can find James and another new face, Lieutenant Cortez. Oh, Anyhow. This has been an extra long session. Yep. So we'll deal with the lift next time. Later's. Bye bye.